Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I am getting ready right now because we are going to a winery with some of our friends today. So I already did my base and then I was like, you know what? I should vlog like getting ready because I wanted to vlog like when we go today. So, but I didn't think about it until my base was already done. So I just use my regular base products, two base born this way, a Tarte Shape Dave Concealer. Y'all already know. But I figured that we'd start the vlog by getting ready. Cause I'm gonna go show you guys a makeup look that I have been doing a lot. I got this new tripod thing, but it's so low. Like I need it to be like up here, but. It's like down here. So I'm like crouching over and I feel like the lighting looks weird, but it's fine. But I am excited to go to a winery today. I've been wanting to actually go to this place. It's in upstate New York um, for like a while. So I'm excited we're finally going. But first I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Lovely Bunch. I'm gonna just like talk and like hang out with you guys during this. It's not really about like the makeup tutorial itself. I'm literally using my phone as the mirror to do <laughs> my makeup. I do have a bigger mirror behind. But yeah, I'm excited to be going today. I feel like that lighting is a little bit better. I don't know. It's a big mess behind me too. So I'm sorry, you guys. Life has been a little chaotic as I'm sure it has been for most. Also, oh my gosh. Okay, so I really wanted to get the, I'm just gonna go in now with the shade Culotta. Oh, you know what? I'm literally talking about how I'm using the phone as a mirror and then I realized there's a mirror in this thing. So I don't know <laughs> what I'm thinking. My brain is all over the place, but this morning, because normally on Saturdays, we will get um, like coffee out. During the week, we always try and make our own coffee. It's a bad habit to get in buying coffee out like every single day. But on Saturdays, we like to treat ourselves and go get coffee at like Starbucks or Dunkin' or whatever. And today I really wanted to try the Charlie, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, Charlie D'Amelio. She's like the biggest like TikTok creator. She, I guess she's from the Northeast or something. Cause I know she like lives in LA now, but I guess she's from uh, the Northeast and she like grew up with Duncan. So she always is posting like with Duncan. And so she literally got to make her own like coffee drink with Dunkin' Donuts, which I, out of every influencer collaboration, I was like, that is so cool. Like I was so excited about that because I love Duncan and I just thought that was awesome. And she seems like such a sweetheart. So I wanted to go and try it. So I went and they, I would like ask them because I wasn't sure exactly what it was. And it has whole milk in it. Basically what it is, is it's cold brew from Duncan, which is like newer. They didn't always have that. I'm gonna go in with Nutty now. With caramel, which I like. I like caramel. Um, and then whole milk. So I was like, <laughs> can we do it with almond milk? So I basically got the Charlie, but with almond milk instead of um, the whole milk and it's delicious. So it's caramel. Uh, cold brew and then I got almond milk. I don't know, whole milk just makes my stomach feel sick. So I was like, there is no way that I can do that. <laughs> but I wanted to try it and it is really good. Oh my God, this lighting is making me look so weird. I swear I don't look like this. I don't know why. I'll show you guys in uh, natural lighting, obviously when this is all done. I think as I have this, uh, my mirror has lights and they're like a greenish. They always give like a greenish tinge to my face like on camera, which is why I don't normally film in this room. Like I normally film obviously in my filming room, but whatever. And I also have over here, a big glass of water. Wait, I just noticed looking in the thing that I still have these stickers. Ew, we literally put these through the dishwasher and this is still on there. Whatever, I'll take that off later, but gotta hydrate before you go to a winery. You gotta stay hydrated. This eye look has been like my go-to, just like neutral when I wanna look like nice, put together kind of look. Also, I actually just got a ColourPop Cosmetics coupon code. I never had one. Like I was never an affiliate like for ColourPop. Like I always got their stuff in PR and stuff, which I really appreciate because I love their products. Like genuinely, that's why I've talked about them for years for you guys. But they just recently invited me to be part of their um, like influencer program, which basically gives me a code. So now if you guys use code Kelly on on their website, you'll get 10% off of your entire order, which is super cool. I'm gonna go in with Coco Crush now and I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. But yeah, I was really, really excited when they emailed me and asked me if I wanted to be part of their program because obviously I love their products. So you guys can now use code Kelly if you wanna get anything from ColourPop and get 10% off. Their stuff is already really affordable. Like this palette is like 12 bucks. It's really nice. And I use it all the time. It was part of when I did a little um, like bundle collab with them. This was part of that. I'm just packing that on the lid. And this is completely dry too. Like I'm not using any Fix Plus or anything on it. I'm also running really late. So I love to vlog when I'm like already late, you know? <laughs> Such a great choice. Cause we're the drivers today. Cause Steven, there's six of us going cause it's one of our friend's birthday. And so let me get some, I'm gonna 
spray a little of this Fenty spray on and pack that over. But Steven's truck is the only vehicle that can fit six people. So we're the ones driving. So I always feel extra bad. Well, I guess, I guess I should feel less bad if we're the ones driving if we're late, but I'm just always late and I always feel bad because I never leave myself enough time. I'm also vlogging right now on my phone. So when people text me, I like can't even see it. <laughs> because I'm using my phone to record right now because I don't know if you guys remember or if you watched the vlog. I think it was the last vlog that we uploaded that was when the hurricane was happening. So in that vlog, when we were out of power, we were out of power for like three days. I needed to film like a video for my main channel and I tried to use the vlog camera to um, film that video because basically my the camera that I use for really like my main channel videos is this big Canon DSLR, but it doesn't have a like flip out viewfinder. So I have to connect it to a big monitor so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I obviously couldn't use that when the power was out because it requires power to really run. But with the vlog camera, it has a flip out screen. It's not as good of quality, but I mean, it was good enough for the video that I wanted to film. So I could do that, so I could use that. So I tried to film a video, but because it was so hot, because we didn't have any um, air conditioning, because the power was out, the camera like overheated and it did it a couple times and it like shut off every time. And then, you know, I would wait like 20 minutes and then turn it back on. It literally took me like almost four hours to try and film the dang video. And then ever since then, like the camera like doesn't work. Um, I think it just like overheated and something in it like fried internally. Cause I tried like a new battery, didn't work. Tried a new um, memory card, like something wrong with the actual camera. And all the footage now is like all weird. And so it like actually won't work anymore. So I have to get a new vlog camera. So I've been doing research to try and find like which one we should get, but we just haven't gotten it yet. Maybe we'll go tomorrow to Best Buy to check it out. There's like a new Sony that I want to look at. Kind of expensive, but I think it'll be worth it because we really want to get a lot of new content up on our vlog channel. So I'm vlogging on my phone right now just because that's all we got. <laughs> so maybe if we go tomorrow, I'll bring you guys along for that. If we go to like Best Buy and check out, cause I know a lot of you guys are content creators yourself. So you want to see like the new stuff that's out there. There's like actually a new, the camera from Sony is like made specifically for content creators. Like that's why Sony created it, which is pretty cool. So we'll see about that tomorrow. All right, I just did a little liner. I'm going to jump in with the Salon Perfect 661 lashes today. I prefer actually the 663s, but this is just what I have today. So I don't know where my 663s went <laughs> to go to Walmart and get some more. This lash is not cooperating today. Oh, it gets like stuck to this little tweezer. So there's like a little bit of glue or something on here. I can't get it off. I'm just hitting my lashes with some mascara. To blend everything together. Alrighty, now I'm gonna bronze up the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Sugar Rush. You guys know I love this. It's called like their Sun and Fun bronzer. I also am realizing now too, that I'm trying a new um, self tanner and this self tanner is more like olivey toned than the other one that I normally use is. And so now like my foundation doesn't really match perfectly. I might need to get a more like olivey toned, like my face is a little different. Like the tones are off a little bit. So I might have to go grab something to fix that. But so far I like it. The one I've been trying is Bondi Sands. It's like the Aero Foam, I think is what it's called in like the ultra dark shade. And so far I actually really like it. I haven't tried it for long enough. This is my second time, but the first time I wore it, I thought it looked really nice and that it faded very nicely. And so, so far I do like it, but I like to like give self tanners like at least a month to like really like test them. Then I'm going in with the Tarte Park Ave Princess. This is their Amazonian clay. Just to contour these cheekbones. And I'm also gonna contour out my nose as well. For blush, I'm gonna jump in with the Blushin' in Riviera from L'Oreal. I love this, it's a dupe for uh, NARS Orgasm. Super pretty. Sorry if I keep looking up, there's just the mirror behind me. I love this blush. And then I'm gonna go in with this little Milani highlighter palette in the center shade. This is the Rose Glow Stellar Lights highlighter palette. And we are gonna just highlight the cheeks with this. I feel like I remember this being more blinding. It's pretty, but it's not like, Crazy. A little more subtle, I guess. For me, at least. <laughs> then for my lips, I'm gonna jump in with the House Labs lip liner in the shade Myth. This is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm just gonna line my lips with this. I just freshly sharpened it, so it's like an awkward shape. <laughs> there we go. Then I'm going with MAC Honey Love. This is a matte from, a matte from MAC. Just cause I'm gonna be having wine, so I want it to last as, as good as possible. I feel like matte lipsticks will last the best. And then I'm gonna top it with the Tarte H2O Lip Gloss in Sandy Toes. You guys know, this is my fave. And then we of course need some Urban Decay All Nighter. I use a lot of it. <laughs> 
and we are done. I'm telling you the lighting in here makes the makeup look weird, but I'll show you guys in the car when we're actually in natural light. I'm just gonna go do my hair real quick, get changed, and we'll be on our way. We always give him a treat before we leave <laughs> so he doesn't hate us. We love you. We'll be back soon. He just wants more treats. He always <laughs> wants more. Oh, love you. All right, you guys, here is the completed makeup look. I feel like my makeup always looks better in natural light than it does in my beauty room. Um, I don't know, the lighting in there is just weird, but um, yeah, this is the makeup. I just kind of threw my hair up with a little blue scrunchie because I'm wearing like a little blue sundress and a jean jacket just because it's supposed to get me a little cooler later. Um, and then I do have my key, I always want to say quay, my key high keys that are like blue. So I have all blue today. Um, and yeah, we left and we're only nine minutes late. So for me, that's basically on time. So our friends shouldn't be too mad at us. And Steven, you're also wearing blue today too. We're matching. Or no, this is grayish, but he has blue jeans on. We still kind of match. <laughs> but yeah, so we're on our way to get our friends now. actually a beautiful day like it was like 55 this morning what does the car say now 59 um so i'm like in this like big cozy sweater and Steven has a sweatshirt on like for the first time i feel like summer now is like officially gone it's like fall weather here in jersey but we're gonna go right now to go try and get a new camera i literally spent all morning trying to fix the old one like doing everything that i could do and it's just i tried to fix it and it's not able to be fixed there's just it's dead I don't know I fried it I think when it was too hot out and it kept overheating so we're gonna get a new camera and check them out and show you guys what we're getting because we have a lot of content coming up on this channel I know I feel like I say that a lot but we really really do this time like I really mean it we have so much content coming so many ideas so much stuff to share with you guys and we're really really excited about it so um, now that we'll have the camera and I don't have to use my phone for everything it's gonna be a lot better and I'm really excited so you guys are too. All right, I'm really hoping that Best Buy has the camera that we want so we can get it and we don't have to like order it and wait for it. So, fingers crossed. They have it. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. That is so adorable. Is it called a dead cat or something? I, think it's called a dead cat. I don't know. It helps with like the audio. For wins though. New camera secured. Yay! Yeah. Very excited. It's made like specifically for vlogging. Sony came out with it in May, I think. So Content it's new. Content creation made simple. I like simple. Yeah. So I'm excited. More videos coming soon. Yay. I guess I can take my mask off now because we're outside. But that was simple and easy. I was glad they had it. So yeah, I think we will end today's vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we promise now with our new camera. Sorry guys, we're just having so much camera difficulty. My phone, as we were closing out the vlog, my phone was like, no more storage. So it cut the... A uh, little video, but we promise with the new vlog camera, we'll be back with more videos soon. So, bye guys.